Let me tell you about my recent experience of making some sauerkraut using three large heads of cabbage from a local farm stand and the tools that I had available in my kitchen. I took a very sharp knife and began by cutting the first head of cabbage into quarters. Then I removed the inner core from each quarter. Carefully, I sliced across the cabbage, shaving it off in long, thin pieces. I found this to be quite satisfying and challenged myself to see how thin and long I could make the slices. The sharp knife was able to shred the cabbage as long as I cut directly across the grain. After the four quarters were shredded, I had a nice pile, but I needed more room on the cutting board, so I found a sturdy container and placed the shredded cabbage into it. I knew I needed a strong container for what I was going to do next. For each head of cabbage, I added one whole tablespoon of salt. And with a heavy pastry rolling pin that was made of marble, I proceeded to pound the shredded cabbage and salt. This process crushes the cells in the cabbage, which allows the juice to be extracted. I continually stirred the shredded cabbage in order to crush it evenly. I found a large hurricane jar and placed the crushed cabbage into it, compressing it slightly. I thought this would be the perfect container because I would be able to see the progress of fermentation right through the glass sides. I went ahead and chopped the other two heads of cabbage in the same way, adding one tablespoon of salt for each head, crushing it with the rolling pin and adding it to the hurricane jar. Raw sauerkraut is a fermented food that is packed with beneficial nutrients. From vitamin C and K to fiber and probiotics, this tangy cabbage dish is truly a nutritional powerhouse. In fact, sauerkraut has been touted for its potential health benefits for centuries, with some people even claiming that it can boost the immune system, aid digestion, and reduce inflammation. As a firm believer in the power of sauerkraut, I often say that it is one of the best things you can put into your mouth. Not only is it delicious and versatile, but it also has the potential to improve your overall health and well-being. It is important to note, however, that sauerkraut should never be cooked. When you heat sauerkraut, you destroy many of the beneficial bacteria and enzymes that make it so nutritious in the first place. Instead, it's best to enjoy sauerkraut raw or lightly warmed such as in a sandwich or on top of a salad. After all the shredded cabbage was in the jar, I very gently pushed it down with the rolling pin, pressing it into the juice. I was very careful not to hit the sides of the jar and break the glass. The shredded cabbage needs to be packed together tightly, submerged, and kept away from the open air. I made sure the sides of the jar were wiped clean of particles and residue, then I found a bowl that fit snugly into the jar and pushed it in until I could see the juice come to the top. To ensure that the mixture was weighted down, I used a round stone, making sure it was very clean, even spraying it with hydrogen peroxide solution to kill any germs. I placed it inside the bowl, then covered the hurricane jar with a glass saucer. 
The saucer sealed the jar just enough to keep bugs out, but still let air in and allow gases to escape. The jar and all its contents were set in a remote corner of my countertop, and I draped a dark cloth over it to keep the light out, leaving it untouched for several weeks. Ten weeks later, I went to check on my sauerkraut. It had turned a very nice yellow color. It was ready. I was glad that I had used the hurricane jar because I could see the differences in the coloring through the sides. I noticed that the sauerkraut on the top was slightly darker, perhaps due to exposure to oxygen, but it was nothing to worry about. I got some clean jars ready with lids and then removed the stone in the bowl. I placed a wide funnel over the larger jar and proceeded to spoon the darker colored sauerkraut into it. I decided I would keep this sauerkraut separate and eat it first. The sauerkraut had a nice pickly smell and I couldn't wait to try it. I made sure there was plenty of sauerkraut in the funnel, then I pushed it all down into the jar very tightly before I sealed them with a lid. I placed the lid on the jar nice and snug and then set the jar aside. I went ahead and filled all the jars that I could with the remaining sauerkraut, making sure they were all packed tightly. In the end, I got one full quart and four pints of sauerkraut, plus a little extra. I would start by consuming the large quart first and snack on the extra little bit. The rest would be stored away indefinitely until I needed it. I placed the jars in a deep pan in an area of my kitchen where I ferment jars of food. This is my fermentation station. This is where I put my jars where I can watch them for several weeks, even months, until I'm sure that they will not leak. Then I can just simply put them on a shelf in a cool place until I need to use them. However, once a jar is open the first time, I like to keep it in the refrigerator from then on and consume it quickly. I discovered an open jar in my refrigerator that was sauerkraut that I made over seven years ago. I remember that I still had a sealed jar of this seven-year-old sauerkraut and wanted to compare it with my freshly made sauerkraut. The jar on the right has never been refrigerated or opened. As long as no air gets into the jar, it will not mold or go bad. I believe sauerkraut gets better as it ages. I've been heard to say that sauerkraut never goes bad, it just gets better. Well-aged sauerkraut to me is like good wine. The taste and texture of well-aged, uncooked sauerkraut is simply delicious. <laughs>